Hey guys, so this really is going to be a fairly short video, um, just to review some things that are going to be on your quiz tomorrow. So this is just kind of a summary page of the things we learned about with all of the different angle pairs and transversal lines. Right, so remember that we've got these two lines here. Oh, I like the lightsaber, but let me switch back to this, yeah. So we have the transversal lines here. Or the parallel lines there, the transversal is here. Um, oh, okay, and it forms all of these different angle pairs. Um, remember that a straight angle adds up to 180 degrees. Vertical angles, remember, are ones that are across from one another and they are always congruent. Um, and then when you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, right, the alternate interior angles are congruent. So in this picture, Right, so angles 3 and 6 is alternate interior, and 4 and 5. Um, alternate exteriors would be 1 and 8, or 2 and 7. Corresponding angles would be like 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, or 4 and 8. Um, the same side or consecutive interior angles, so like 3 and 5 or 4 and 6, are supplementary. And that also applies to same side exterior or consecutive exterior, so like 1 and 7 or 2 and 8. So I have these kind of color coded here. Um, if they're the same color, they're congruent to each other. So like yellow is congruent to yellow, orange is congruent to orange. And then if you have a yellow and an orange, that means they're going to add up to... 180. So sometimes that's helpful um, just to mark it out like that on your picture. That way you can identify the congruent and supplementary angles a little bit easier. So on your quiz, I'm basically going to ask you to like identify angle pairs, um, find the angle measures like we did on the worksheets. So if it's congruent, it's so remember your only options are it's congruent or they're supplementary. So you're going to subtract it from 180. Right, and then the other thing that you will have to do on your quiz is be able to use these formulas to find distance, midpoint, and slope between two points, um, just like you did on that homework, which we reviewed yesterday. All right, so hopefully this helps. Um, just make sure you watch over this, look over your homework, because that gives you kind of a good idea to what we're going to be doing on tomorrow's quiz. It'll be short. You can use your notes, obviously, um, and make sure that you've got these formulas handy. I'm going to post these two pictures as a PDF on LMS as well. That way you can refer back to them easily.